490. 490. So I only have to forgive somebody 490 times? No. What's Jesus' point? Every, Every time. However many times, right? And that, okay, keep reading, Addison. There's no limit to how often God forgives you. Therefore, there is no limit to how often Jesus wants you to forgive Oh, Ian. Uh, oh, Ian. The uh, uh, third, the second paragraph under you are not in charge. Okay, now think of it this way. Let's say you were riding along in a truck through a country with many starving people. The truck is filled with food donated by people throughout the world. You have neither provided nor procured any of the food. You have, however, been given this food and asked to hand it out to those who are starving. In other words, you have been asked to give out these gifts, but not to decide whether someone should receive these gifts or how much they should receive. You've been asked to give these life-saving gifts even to those who eat and starve to request the food, and, and you are to give them enough. God's word and the power of life for you and for you to others. Regarding giving <coughs> forgiveness, you may ask, don't others have to apologize or at least first ask for forgiveness? No, why not? Because those are who are those who are too spiritually weak or in starving, often first need to receive God's efficacious efficacious and living word from Him through you, so that He that they can be brought back to life spiritually. All right, brought back to life spiritually. So efficacious, efficacious means that God's word does what God says that it does, right? For your good. That's what efficacious means. It does what it says for your good. Right, so you, somebody does not have to ask for forgiveness for you to offer them forgiveness. And in fact, the point here is you in offering them forgiveness may well make them think about the gospel and hear more of the word of God. Right? So as you, as you tell the murderer in the courtroom, I forgive you, as hard and as difficult as that is, that that proclamation of forgiveness, whether he cares or not, even if he doesn't care, right, that good news may be what it takes to um, help them come to life spiritually. All right? All right, keep reading. <coughs> Jesus' words of forgiveness are powerful. Jesus says, the word that I have spoken to you are spirit and our life. All right, so forgiveness is not yours to withhold. Forgiveness does not belong to you, but it has been given to you. What do you have that you did not receive, 1 Corinthians 4? Forgiveness is a gift of God, which he is asking you to give to others, even if the faith of others is so weak they are starving spiritually. Yes, even if they do not say they are sorry, God lovingly has forgiven you, and he wants his endless gift of forgiveness to flow through you to others. Discussing forgiveness is often easier than forgiving, especially when a sinful grudge is involved. As you consider how God desires you to forgive, uh, you may often feel frustrated, like St. Paul who said, For the good I wish I do, oh wait, for the good that I wish I do not do, but I practice the very evil that I do not wish. After expressing his frustration, the Apostle Paul says, Wretched man that I am, who will set me free from the body of death? The answer, thanks be to God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Because he is the one that sets us free from the body of death by forgiving us. All right, the apostle here confesses that Christ crucified and resurrected is the answer to this frustration. Jesus is the answer that you need in life for your sin and for all your difficult and broken relationships, especially family relationships. When God's living word in Christ comes to you through preaching, teaching, and receiving the sacraments, the word will go to work in you. God's word enables you to do what you cannot do on your own. Forgive those who have wronged you. How often? Forgive, forgive others as often as necessary, as often as the sin continues to reoccur. Since there is no limit to how often God forgave you, when you forgive others, you are dispersing God's forgiveness and not your own. What do you have that you did not receive? 1 Corinthians 4. 
All right, number one, why can it be so difficult to forgive somebody who's wronged you? Because I wronged you. Yeah, and, and what about me, though, makes it hard? My... My... What kind of heart? Sinful heart. My sinful heart, my sinful nature makes it hard to forgive others. Right? My sinful nature wants to get revenge. My sinful nature wants to stay angry. My sinful nature wants to get even. My sinful nature, I don't know, wants me to wallow in sadness and despair and hopelessness rather than forgiving those around me. Right? So my sinful nature gets in the way. Number two, from the article, do others need to apologize in order to ask for forgiveness? Nope. Apologize and ask for forgiveness first? No. Why not? <clears throat> because they may be too spiritually weak to know they need to repent. Because they may be too spiritually weak to know they need to repent. No, because they may be too spiritually weak to know that they need to repent. So if a person who doesn't really care about God wrongs you, well, they're not going to say, I'm sorry, please forgive me, because they don't care. They don't know that God has forgiveness. They don't care about God's forgiveness, whatever it is, right? They are too spiritually weak to realize that they need God's forgiveness. So you get to give them that forgiveness anyway. And that may be what they need to hear in order to come to Jesus and truly repent of their sins. So what is forgiveness? Second column, first paragraph. Why? Gift of God. It's a gift of God. It's a gift of God. You were right, but... Right? It's not ours to withhold because it's a gift from God. Gift from God. Number four, what enables you to forgive others? Second column, last paragraph. God's Word allows you to forgive others. What are you doing when you forgive others? Second column, last paragraph. You are distributing God's forgiveness. So again, uh, kind of the same thing. Think of somebody that you're having trouble forgiving. Say a prayer to God to help you forgive that person. Let's close by reading the prayer together on the page, one page back at the end of this article. Let's read this together. Dear Lord, thank you for dying on the cross and earning limitless forgiveness for me and all those who have difficult family and friend relationships. Regarding forgiveness on my own, I am totally helpless. Cause your living word and spirit to work a miracle within me each day so that I can say, even to those who hate me, I forgive you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So, this is a couple of things. Last class until January 5. Last class until January 5. We are one class behind, but we'll uh, make that up somehow. Pray for no snow days on Wednesdays. All right? Um, and anybody else need one of these before you go? All right. Uh, please put up uh, four of the tables for me, please. And shut off the lights. Last one out. Shut off the lights, please.